Next, we're on question number 21, and we'll be using the axiom for this question in the IV approach. Now, this question is also a 2x2 two two question. Therefore, we'll be using the 2x2 two two table to solve this problem. So if we draw this 2x2, two two, Now on the first column, we're going to put female employees, and the next column, we're going to put male employees. And on the first row, we're going to put retired employees. And in the next row, we're going to put unretired or not retired employees. Now. Next thing we're going to use for this problem is the axiom. Now, axiom is the fundamental set of rules that we use to translate a question into a mathematical equation. So you must memorize these. So words such as what or what fraction translates into a symbol we call something. And this something is what we're trying to get throughout the question. So this is the final answer, so to speak. And the word of translates into multiplication sign. The word is translates into equal sign. And the word percent translates into 1 over 100. So if you say you have 3%, you put 3 times 1 over 100. All right, so the total we're going to call 100E. Now, 100 comes from the fact that this is a percentage problem, and E comes from the related initial, the related vocabulary's initial, which is employees. So 100 multiple comes from the fact that this is a percentage problem, and the word E from employees. So 20%, so 20 times 1 over 100, of the total, which was 100e, will equal 20e. So this is the people who are retired. So we know that this bit, this row, will be 20e. And therefore, this row will be 80e. Now it says 64% of the employees are male, have not retired. So 64%, 64 times 1 over 100 of the total, so 100E equals 64E. Now these are males, male employees who have not retired. We can cross out 100 and we get 64E. So now we know that this area right here is 64E. And this gives us the value for this area as well, which is 16e, because 16 plus 64 is 80. Now, our final question was, what percent? So something times 1 over 100 times, because it's of. So we multiply 80e, the number of employees not retired. And this is equal to 16e, female. So then something, if we cross out E, E, and 5, and 20, then we're left with something times 1 over 20 equals 1. So we get something equals 20. So our answer is choice A, 20%. So remember how we use the IV approach, the axioms, and the 2x2 two two method.